is the card we're going to be doing today. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I just love this set. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it has been discontinued, but I I keep going back to it. It's <laughs> it's the Christmas classic, and I used this die here, and I used this one in here to do the white. I did this in garden green, and this in white. Uh, I used this one. I stamped it and then die cut it out. And I stamped this one and cut it out and I cut out, used the berries. And I used these in silver. So, and I used this standalone pine needle die. These, these two go together like salt and pepper. Honestly, I just love these two sets. But anyways, we will get started. I, as you can see, I just did the pine needles on the envelope and it looks nice. It's simple. Uh, it's not that difficult a card, but it is a little bit um, time consuming just to get everything done. But I think it's worth it. I hope you think it's worth it. So what I did is I cut out that this piece from here and then I put my DSP on it which is Joy of Christmas that I get this one. I love the gray. And this small berry on the other side is gorgeous. I've used a few of these. Like it is really nice. It is discontinued too. Unfortunately, but we hardly ever carry over uh, DSP. So you just get used to that. I'm using. 16 inches of simply elegant trim the silver and what i did is i cut this out of the like i showed you here and then i cut just this area out and this area out in um real red and you get i can get it over here it looks like this and i have already cut the berries off over here and here but i have i left one so i can show you what i did i just came along and held it then i took my scissors and I went round like it is and cut it off just like that. Then I placed it down, grabbed my, oh, putty came out there. And I put a little bit of glue on it here. Because it was easier to do it on there than on here. Then I put it there and made sure it matched up as good as possible. Just like that. And now I have berries on there. Easy. But again, it is a little bit more time consuming. But I didn't really want red uh, leaves, like holly leaves, um, on here. So that's an easy way to get your berries red. So I'm not going to put this down. I'm going to build on this.
Now, I did these. I stamped them in garden green. Me, Mama. Yes, sweetheart. Mama's busy doing a video. Leave, leave. Go away. Mama's busy. Sorry. I have a little munchkin. Uh, go, go. That's my microphone. What is it for? So they can hear me. Go see Papa. So I'm taking my garden green and I'm taking my blending brush and I'm going to get a little bit of color and I'm going to take the stark whiteness off of these so that it blends in a bit. You can't just die cut this out of the green like you can the other one so you have to stamp it to make it look like something <laughs> and i thought if i just push put the um green in the background it doesn't look so white and it kind of blends in with the card a little bit better so that is done which is much better than this like there they kind of blend in as if there's you can see the greenery in the background so i am going to get rid of that and I'm going to bring in my uh, silicone mat and this and start there. And you're kind of going to want to figure out how much you can have you want to put this in the center so you gotta bring this in and kind of get it so that it's within the parameters like that and here again I'm going to do the same kind of thing make it look similar whoops see it looks it's within the it has to be within the parameters of this well you can actually put the white on the background too and have it within that but it's just easier if you have it within this perimeter because then you know for sure now i've got to stamp that dominic now i'm going to put this here Dominic, you need to go see Papa. Sorry about that. He's playing with a fire truck. So, it's noisy. Yes, but it's got to be quiet because people are trying to listen to Mama's video. So you need to go upstairs, please. No, 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 you go upstairs. Well, then you have to be quiet. You have to be quiet. He's usually pretty good, but Papa is 
doing it uh, on the computer and he's not paying any attention. And so he comes down here to get attention. <laughs> Can't blame the kid. There. I did two of these. Oops. Good. I just use the um, shaded spruce uh, blend to color these in. And now I'm using the 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 berries come in two together and one by itself so i just well come on i guess my Finger has more glue on it than the um, my putty end. Now I'm doing three together. Just like that. And I have a two here. There's a right side and a wrong side. I turned it the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. Now, to put the two here and pull out a single one. There we go. I need that. Did I do it the wrong way? Yes, I did. Sorry about that. There we go. Now that's done. So I made, I uh, die cut three of these. And all I did was go in here. Whoopsie. And cut those, that like that. And then I had two pieces. And then I used both pieces. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Like that. Well, I better put some more glue on because I lost it down here. I think I'm just going to go like this and then I can press it down. And the other side of it is going to go up here. There. Now I am going to go down here and I am I'm going to go like that. I like to try it out before I actually glue it just to see if it will fit where I want it to. 
go. Whoopsie. And then glue it down. I have glue on my fingers. <laughs> Lucky me. But I still like the snail adhesive, or the uh, liquid glue is my favorite glue that I use. Let me see. I do it here. It doesn't dry as easily, uh, as quickly as the cardstock because it's not a porous surface because it's silver foil. Hope that you understand that. That's why it's just, oh, yeah, I want to. Got it caught. Gonna have to fill up this bottle soon. There. I want that berry to be seen. And this one is going to go right here. Maybe up can go up a little bit higher. There we go. There. So now what I'm going to do is get rid of that glue, turn it over here, and start <clears throat> gluing these from the opposite side. And this does take a few minutes. And you don't have to do all the way to the tip, just as long as you're close to the tip. The rest doesn't have to be done because it will stay down. Not a problem. And try to go for the bigger pieces, like the wider pieces if you can like in here is a wider piece so i would go for that i am smelling supper it smells delicious oh my goodness food basics had turkeys on sale this week or this past week so i bought a turkey and it's cooking right now so we're going to have turkey supper tonight because both of us love turkey and it's about the cheapest meal uh meat out there that you can possibly buy at less than two bucks a pound so we love it and uh yeah it's going to be delicious. And I bought cranberries, so uh, make those made those up yesterday. 
there we go. So we're going to have an amazing supper. Now, I'm trying to get this within the perimeter, the parameters of this. Whoops. And I want that straight, too. Okay, that goes up. Yeah, pretty close. Now I'm going to pull it in here, and then I'm going to push on this. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> I love that paper. haven't used it yet because I've used the other side of it. I also love the gray and uh, music notes. It just, it does something for this card, I think, the music. And I've got some on this side that are over the edge, so I'm just going to clip them. Not a big deal. I don't think, oh, yeah, that one's over. But that's it. But that's not bad. I don't think I put any glue on those. At least it doesn't appear that I did. As I said, I need to fill that bottle up. It takes a long time for that glue to come to the end. And just push it on there. Didn't push in the right spot. <laughs> there we go. So now I am bringing this back and I'm doing this and I'm going, whoop, like I said, I got glue. I'm going to turn my heat gun on. <coughs> Still got a bit of a cough. <coughs> And it's hanging in my throat, so my voice, I'm doing it in silver. That one is in black. But I think um, the silver is going to just pick it up so much more. That away. And hopefully... I get it within the confines.
there's my pokey tool. It's just a little bit right there that shouldn't be there. There we go. Now I'm putting that out of the way so I'm not got any chance of uh, melting it. There's what I want. And I'm bringing in my heat tool. There. And I'm... You're aiming it across so that it, not like this, you could burn your paper that way. But if you aim it across, it just, see, isn't that pretty? Embossing is awesome. A lot of, a lot of people, that's the reason why they <laughs> started stamping up. because they of the how gorgeous this is I loved how gorgeous it was but I also joined for other reasons I just love making cards. I actually got in. I had been making cards and sending them to the kids' teachers and doing different notes with different stamps. And then when I saw Stampin' Up, it's like, oh my goodness, the Stampin' Up um, quality of stamps and the different things you could do was so superior to what I was using it's like yeah sign me on the dotted line there I got into doing it not selling it that took years and years but just buying I just love the idea of being able to make a personal card for people and make it to fit their personality because uh, you couldn't do that with bought and cards. So how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I, oh. good thing I've got a glue eraser is I am going to be using it a lot this on this card Stampin' Up! doesn't sell these, but um, stationery stores have them. Probably Amazon. Uh, I'm not sure, but I have. Uh, I don't need one in the foreseeable future. There we go. Now, and another way of getting rid of any glue you might have, I have a little bit in here, is just to go over it like this with your embossing buddy, and there's no more sticky at all. So now I am going to take my beads uh you this is just old 
um, stuff that I'm trying to use up. I'm taking my Simply Elegant trim and I'm wrapping it around three times. And I'm keeping it straight so that the they're not twisted and they come off and I can easily um, separate them because they're all together, not mixed. They're straight across. And now I'm going to wrap this around a second time because this is a fairly wide slippery cord it's not thin it doesn't uh, tie and stay tied nicely so I tied it once and then wrapped the cord around again and then tied it again and when I take these off as you can see they will be all separated and you can see them so i'm doing my glue dot oopsie Now I'm pulling them apart. I'm pulling these down. Pulling those apart. Pulling this one down. And I'm going to take another glue dot because I do not like anything that moves back and forth. So if I put this down and open this up a little bit more. Then I will stick them down and they will be glued. And I'm going to do the same thing with this side. So I'm using three glue dots in total. There. And separating them. One goes there, that one goes there. That's it. Well, that wasn't smart. I didn't. Yeah, there we go. I want the uh, tails down this direction. So what do you think of my card? Now, if I put this over here where I should have, then it would have fat, fit in there quite nicely. But you're going to just have to arrange it to fit wherever it fits, wherever you put that. But I would put it over here and then this bow would fit nicely around the, the G, the tail of the G. But anyways, make it work. Well, I just had them. What in the world did I do with them? They're on my shirt. <laughs> I put seven of these on in total. You don't have to put that many on, but I have a lot of these. So I figured I would bling this one out because I do have a lot. Whoa, 
that's up there. Another glue dot is called for. Now this one I'm just making into a ball. And it is going to go underneath there. And then that is going to hold this one down and take up the spot. Now I'm going to use my um, ribbon scissors. And cut these. Keeps going away from me. <laughs> I'm going to have to glue that one down too. It does not want to stay where these. Yeah, that's weird. But anyways, I will get another glue dot. And I will make it into a circle. And put it underneath there. And then it will stay down. And if you have any problems, I don't feel any sticky. But. There. If there is any sticky, it will be gone now. So what do you think of my card? Did I do the envelope? Yes, I did. There we go. Let me clear out my area so you can see my card. What do you think? I think it's a it's really pretty. I think what just takes it over the edge is the music notes in the back. I absolutely love the music notes. Because that re it just reminds me of Christmas and singing carols and and all the fun times you have. Thank you so much for being here, my friends. I so appreciate it. I hope that you have a wonderful day, and I uh, hope you enjoy my card. If you do, please like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Bye now.